Elon Musk's Starlink satellites face major competition as China plots space expansion. China has unveiled plans to rival Elon Musk's Starlink by launching more than 100 new satellites into space. We know that it's a space race going on. Beijing said it wants to add 107 new satellites to Golden Bauhinia, its orbiting constellation providing smart city solutions around Hong Kong, while aimed at providing observational data, then low-cost high-speed internet connectivity, Golden Bauhinia will start find will still find itself competing with Elon Musk's Starlink, the SpaceX communication constellation already has nearly 1,900 satellites in orbit, has come under fire from scientists over fears that Starlink growing presence is interfering with astronomical observations and increasing the risk of dangerous orbit debris. But Elon Musk and his firm SpaceX have been lauded this week for activating the Starlink network in Ukraine, following a request for assistance from the country's first vice prime minister, and Minister of Digital Transformation, Mikhailo Fedorov. Ukrainian officials said they are fending off Russian cyber attacks with internet connectivity presently affected in the southern and eastern parts of the country where the fighting has been heaviest. In a tweet, Mr. Fedorov wrote, Elon Musk, while you try to colonize Mars, Russia tried to occupy Ukraine. While your rockets successfully land from space, Russian rockets are attacking Ukrainian civil people. We ask you to provide Ukraine with Starlink stations and to address sane Russians to stand. So in response, Musk wrote, Starlink services now active in Ukraine, more terminals en route. The golden bauhinia of uh, China, named for iconic gilded flower sculpture in Hong Kong's Wan Chai metropolitan area. The golden bauhinia constellation already contains five satellites. They were launched in Earth orbit last year. The Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group, HKATG, announced plans to increase its population to 112, with 25 new satellites to be launched this year alone. And the next deployments have provisional schedule for July of this year, and they will include the misleadingly named Golden Bohemia Satellite 3 and 4. And according to HKATG, the active passive hybrid low orbit high frequency satellite constellation, um, which uh, spots sports optical and radar based remote sensing instruments. They are designed to provide aerospace big data images and videos at any time. Now from the seat in low orbit, the constellation will provide complete coverage in near real time of 11 city clusters in the Gangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. The observational data collected by Golden Bohemia will be used to refine urban management with potential applications including monitoring for hazards like flooding, landslides, and earthquake damage. But the system will also be able to use the survey agricultural growth, population levels, and aid GPS navigation, and flag localized problems like fly tipping or illegal parking. The addition of 25 new satellites to the constellation over the course of this year, the firm said will provide additional aerospace data alongside boosting the speed at which such is received. Golden Bohemia, however, is far from the only satellite constellation project looking to muscle in on SpaceX turf, and some provide more direct forms of competition. The ambitious concept was announced by the European Commission earlier this month, in the form of a secure satellite communications plan, which would see 20,000 satellites placed into low, or low orbit over the course of 10 years. Can you imagine what our sky is going to look like? The uh, 10, uh, $6 billion uh, euro is about $7 billion. The uh, 6 billion uh, pound uh, euro billion project would provide high speed internet coverage for all of Europe, as well as parts of Africa and would be secured by quantum cryptographic technology. The proposal the European Commission has claimed could bring around 17 to 24 billion euros in additional revenue while supporting technological growth. Terry Breton, Commissioner for the Internal Market said, space plays a growing role in our daily lives, our economic growth, our security and our geopolitical weight. 
our new connectivity infrastructure will deliver high-speed internet access, serve as a backup to our current internet infrastructure, increase our resilience to cybersecurity, and provide connectivity to the whole of Europe and Africa. And he said it will be the truly pan-European project, allowing our many startups and Europe as a whole to be the forefront of technological innovation. Alongside announcing this communications project, which will significantly add to a number of artificial satellites in Earth orbit, the EU has vowed to lay out an approach to space traffic management to ensure the safe, secure, and sustainable use of space. We'll see how secure and safe that will be. This is by Anne, Ian Randall, Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.